what did you mean by hey you guys i'm trying to get back on track and i got a lovely lady here of colorado well she lives in colorado and i just wanted her and take on hereditary curses robert sylvester kelly's case and these so-called victims so i'm going to give her understanding of hereditary curses and then we're going to hear her point of view she really don't want to be on the camera but i am going to let you guys hear her voice but when i explain to her about hereditary curses it has a lot to do with like generational curses like for example if you have mental disability it comes from your family members from generations on or if you have um let's say for example if you have like um a killing pattern like you have behaviors of killing in your family or you have abuse behaviors in your family it has a lot to do with hereditary curse especially when you're growing up and you're trying to change the pattern in your children's life so let's hear her intake on this go ahead my lovely little lady i won't show her face as far as for that i feel like if there is some type of pattern hereditary pattern going on in the family that as especially african americans we don't get checked for that because we don't believe there is a such thing as that happening and now that is starting to happen a lot more often like you know suicides black people are starting to commit suicides which we didn't think that that happened in our community it does but we need to start getting checked and we need to start that's in my opinion need to start getting regular checks therapy Going to the doctor we need therapy about it i mean it ain't just white people and, and other nationalities go through it black people go through it as well we just hide it exactly and so we do need to start getting seen for it and we need to start getting regular checkups and making sure we check our kids that's how we going to know because it's now it's, it's so many testings and stuff like that. I mean, the whole government and shit like that. I know conspiracy and all that, but you truly need to make sure you check, you know what I'm saying, get your kids checked out. Exactly. And then somewhere down the line, you'll figure it out because you they're going to find it. Yes. You know. So what do you think about the R. Kelly situation in a nutshell? Oh, man, that R. Kelly situation. Because <laughs> this lady actually story. watched the documentary <laughs> and... I do interviews with people who believe he's innocent or they don't believe he's innocent. I do vi I do videos with everybody. I love their information. It's helping me with my research. So what, what do you think about R. Kelly's situation that's going on? In my on? opinion, I don't think he's innocent. Okay, go I, ahead. I believe I've been through a lot of stuff and not to tell everybody my personal situations, but um, I can tell some of the ladies, majority of the ladies were telling the truth. Um, I do feel like for the older ones, I feel I feel like they were all, that's the words, I, I can't use certain words for it, I can't remember certain words, but I do feel like they were trapped, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they and said they were trapped. They were trapped and they're like, they're, I want to say, these the young ones that he got is just sad because they're young. They don't know any better, but they do know better. Mm. Um, well, some of them got sent in there for that bag through their yeah, parents, right. too, so at 17, 18. That was another thing. I don't believe a parent do not know where their child is at mm -hmm. at all times. You, you got to know where your child, even if you don't know where they're at for a few hours, but it, at some point, you got to know where your child is at. Mm -hmm. I do believe that some of the parents do feel like they have some part of it. Because how you not say anything for years, and all of a sudden, you pop up, pop up and you say you start talking about it. Mm -hmm. I do feel like he do pay it off. He paid off some of the parents, and then they got aggravated and got tired, and then they want to speak up about it mm -hmm. when it all came out. Mm -hmm. Now, for the older ladies, I feel like it's really sad, and his wife and all that is really sad that they ha all of them have, unfortunately, they all had to go through that. But they were all trapped. And then the older ones, I think they were all should have known better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the older ones should have known better. I mean, everybody's personalities and everybody go through different stuff. But y'all older. Y'all should have known better this and that. You all never allow no man. You never allow a man to trap you. Yeah. Or tell you. Well, one says she was lost. feel like a dog. Yeah. You never allow no man to ever treat you like that. One says she was locked in um, the a van for eight hours yeah. and couldn't get out of van. How can you be? You can't kick that window it's a, open. It's, a, it's all about control. It's all about controlling things. You need to control the mind. So mm -hmm. if you allow somebody to control your mind like that. Do you think you them women like really was controlled by him, or this was a tactic on Lifetime to get a check? Be you know what I. I, I, for me, I really don't know, but I, I think it's both. I would say both. Okay. I okay. would say both. Because, you, you know, you can do, 
I mean, you, the mind plays tricks on you. Yeah. The mind plays tricks on you, and I do feel like he did control the females. Yeah, okay. I do feel like he controlled the females, but at some point, they all did leave. Uh-huh. At some point, they so all So you feel leave. like they was hostage? You, I don't feel like he made them hostage. They chose to stay there. Okay, so I it's a like difference from being hostage and kidnapped. Yeah, there's, and a, there's a difference. They chose to stay there. Uh -huh. If they wanted to leave, they could have left. Yes. That's my personal opinion, because they did leave. At yeah. some point, they got tired of them, they did leave. And then eventually, they wanted to go on Lifetime and tell right. their story when they got older. Which I think is ridiculous, because a lot of females I've seen after the documentary, some of them became models and shit like that, and they got other endorsement deals. You don't make an endorsement deal off that something like that yeah are you going and showing yourself right. in bikinis as a victim right. yeah you don't I do that this, i think this shit is ridiculous but i mean i i am not saying it is a good thing it's not a good thing it's really sad what happened to those females it really is sad but you know i do feel like he did control them a little bit but at some point do they you? also had they also had you know what i'm saying they could have left and they mm -hmm. chose to be in that environment and they chose to deal with that mm -hmm. yeah so for the the ones that were younger i know some of their parents did say they they fought for them i don't know in the whole situation because that to me doesn't make sense but i'm gonna just leave it at that okay <laughs> well thank you for your interview and um you have a blessed day good well on your baby but um just stay, stay tuned to my channel, and um, your video will be on there. Thank you. You're welcome. And anybody that is here, please make sure you push the like button and subscribe. Just, well, Thank you for so coming.